Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana, I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer, and today's video is going to be all about the new Adobe Fresco 4.3 update. In this update, we're seeing new brushes, new selection tools, and more. So grab your iPad, grab your Apple Pencil, and let's jump in. So for our first update, we're going to be looking at new vector outline brushes. Now you might remember these brushes from a previous update because they came to Adobe Fresco not that long ago. And what's new about it is the way that you're interacting with them in terms of color. So let's take a look. We're going to go to this third brush icon here. This is where our vector brushes are. And when you open it up, you'll see that you've got the outline category here. I'm just going to select this light outline brush here. And now we're seeing that we have two color chips here. So you've got a top chip and a bottom chip. This bottom chip here represents your fill color and the top represents your outline color. So you can just select whatever colors you like. And if you ever wanna switch them, you can just pass your stylus over them to switch their positioning and just start drawing. Now this is really cool to see because before your outline was the only color property that was placed by default and then you would have to put in a fill color afterwards. Now both color properties can be applied at the same time, which is really cool. And yes, while you can apply your colors in this way with these, this new dual color chip idea, you're still free to use your paint bucket tool to reassign any colors that you'd like to change after the fact. So that's also still an option that you have access to. Having access to vector brushes in Adobe Fresco is one of its many benefits and what makes it a unique drawing program. So seeing this expanded use for the vector brushes and specifically the outline vector brushes is really awesome. So definitely check it out. All right, let's check out our next update. So the next update that we're seeing is to our selection tools. So I love using the selection tool because it allows me to get really nice, precise selections and allow me to make edits to my drawings, for example. So we're gonna go to this selection tool over here. We're gonna press and hold, and you'll see that you have a whole bunch of options. The update here comes to this polygon selection that we now have access to at the bottom here. So you can select the polygon section and by default, you'll have at least three sides making a triangle selection, or you could hit this plus and increase the amount of sides up to eight or reduce the amount of sides by hitting the minus button. Before we only had rectangle and ellipse. So this is really nice. So let's see it in action. Just dragging your selection over your canvas, and then you'll get your marching ants to let you know that your selection is in place. And as always, you can use your paint bucket tool to fill in vector or pixel. So you have a lot more options and a lot more flexibility with the kinds of selections that you can place with help from the program. So it takes a lot of the legwork off of the artist creating these kinds of specific shapes. Once they're filled, you can use your touch shortcut as usual. So this is a really nice resource to have access to for selections, like I said, if you wanna do sort of, sort of fills with these kinds of shapes. Now you might be drawing a comparison to the drawing aids, which are similar. So you do have access to a polygon shape where you can increase and reduce the amount of sides. But the difference between drawing aids and the selection tool is that while you can, yes, fill your drawing aids with color, you can also trace the outer edge. You can also use selections to take things away. So you can make a little cutout in that shape as well and erase as well as fill, which you can't do with drawing aids. Also key for the selection tool is that you have access to inverting your selections as well. So if you select more, 
you can always invert your selection to be filling around your shape as opposed to inside the shape. So those are just a few other options that you have access to, as well as masking, which always comes in handy. It's also great to note, you can bring these out onto your canvas, fill them, you can transform your selection so that it remains in that fillable state so that you can just move it around without having to redraw the selection every single time. So definitely play with these, have fun with them. There's a lot you can do with selections, like I said, so jump in and go for it. All right, let's look at our next update. So new seasons mean new seasonal brushes from brush maker Kyle T. Webster. So we're going to download them for our winter 2023 set. So if you go straight to your pixel brushes category, you can go to the bottom here and select add brushes. And then you can just tap discover new brushes. And right at the top, you'll see winter 2023 brushes are ready to be added. So you can just tap add. And just like that, they're in your Adobe Fresco program. So to access them, you're just gonna scroll past to this library brushes section. And then you're just gonna look for winter 2023. So you'll see that there are 26 brushes in the set and let's take a look at some of them. Kyle always does such a great job embodying the, the theme of the season. So a lot of them will feel, this feels like, uh, you know, blocks of ice, you know, for winter time. They have such lovely qualities, such lovely character and texture to them always, which is so lovely to see. And I encourage you to like check into your brush settings. You'll see that brushes like this, that sort of shift in their colors, usually have a color dynamic setting, which allows the colors to shift over time as you keep drawing with them, which is really, really unique and really cool to see. So just like embracing these like cooler tones for the winter theme. But I highly encourage you to check out this brush from the set, the Square Bear. This one is a confetti brush. You can adjust your brush size to get a bigger impact for sure, or keep it smaller. But there's so much to love in these brush sets. And with your access to Adobe Fresco and your subscription, you get these brushes every single season for free. So that's really awesome. And they can be used in Photoshop as well. So I'll be putting a link down below so that you can check it out and download them for Photoshop as well. Just use them, explore, experiment with them, see the texture, see the different personalities in them and see how you can use them in your next piece. I'm really excited to see you guys use these. And with our last update, you can sort of, you know, draw right into this like so, as opposed to filling it with color. So just another idea. All right, let's take a look at our next update. So to properly show off this update, I'm opening an old piece. This update is all about time-lapse, which basically is a recording of every different change that you've made and every stroke that you've put down on your canvas for a certain piece. So this update is all about the customization controls that you have over that time-lapse recording. So we're going to go to this publish and export section. I'm just gonna tap that, and then we're gonna hit time-lapse export. So, you can see that the full duration of me creating this piece in a sped up time-lapse version, this is sped up. It did take me much longer than three minutes and 46 seconds to create this. <laughs> but let's say that I want it to only be 30 to 40 seconds. I can adjust my duration slider. I'll hit preview. This will give Adobe Fresco a second to condense your time-lapse then when your preview is ready, you can hit this play button. And there you go. So I have a 38 second version of my time lapse that was customized by the program. So let's say I'm satisfied with that. 
I can now hit export. You also have the option to quickly access that preview menu by hitting preview time lapse like so. So like I said, I encourage you to, to use this to share your work on social media. It's really cool, really versatile, and you don't have to do the editing. The program will do it for you. Adobe Fresco comes out with updates pretty much every single month. Keep an eye out on the channel, subscribe for monthly update videos. I hope you learned something new. Leave me a comment down below letting me know which update you're most excited for. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.